Let me show you two really fast and simple ways to remove white background from a logo in Photoshop. And there are much more complicated ways using channels. I'm not gonna cover that here. I just wanna show you a fast way that I've been using for over a decade, especially when I get logos from a client with a white background, but I need it on a transparent background. And I just have the Adobe logo here, just a lower quality version here, because a lot of times we're working with a lower quality version. And I just opened it here in Photoshop. This is a JPEG. Now, the very first thing I do is I come to the layer panel here and press the lock icon to unlock the layer. So that's step one. Now, step two, and I'm going to show you two different ways. But for the first one, I come over here and I use object selection tool or W. So you could press and hold on this and choose this option. Now, if your Photoshop version doesn't have this, you'll have to use the second version. But I do have a free trial link to this version of Photoshop in the description below. And I just grab here and drag around my logo like this. And then it's gonna do a nice selection with this option. Now, all I have to do is press Command J or Control J on a PC. That will duplicate my layer. And I just have to turn off the previous layer. So just like that, I got a transparent background. But in some cases, this is not going to work very well and the second option might be more beneficial for you. But if this did work for you, all you have to do is go to File, Export, and Export As, and then here I typically choose a PNG because a PNG, unlike a JPEG, could have a transparency, so I make sure transparency is included, PNG, and I just go ahead and export from here. But let me go back to the original here, deleting everything else. And there's another option. You go to select here and you could select by color range. This option lets you just pick the white. So all you have to do is make sure this eyedropper tool is selected. Click over here. It's going to pick the white and you could work with the fuzziness. So you could kind of look at the logo and you see if I go low, you see how it's selecting things I don't want, like the artifacts around the image. So I typically go pretty high. 180 or even maximum and I'll press OK and now the white is selected so now if I just press delete on my keyboard I have the rest over here and I could press command or control D and that will deselect everything and I have my image this way and then I could go to file and export it again as a PNG and those are the simplest way for removing a white background from any logo. I hope you found this useful. I do have a link to the latest version of Photoshop as well as my full course on Photoshop in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.